Okay, thank you very much for clicking on and welcome. Got a bit of a car boot haul for you today. Going to show you some of the things I found at my local car boot sales. Just quickly, a little introduction. My name is Walter O'Neill. I'm a UK reseller. I'm a antique dealer, buy and sell. Weird, wonderful, eclectic things, good quality pieces that I try to flip for a profit. You won't find me on eBay no more. I'm on my own website, antiquesarena.com. And almost 4,000 items there for you to have a nice little browse and keep it in dressed up. So purpose of today's video is share with you some of the things I've bought, tell you what I've paid for them, show you what they're listed for. And you never know. You may see some of these pieces at the car boot sales yourself and think, well, he's got one of them. I'm going to pick it up. So should we get started and have a little look? So we're going to start off with this, which is a 1960s Italian Fratelli Tosso Murano glass vase with the sort of blue spiraling handles there. It's almost like an end of day glass where they mash all the leftovers together and make a vase out of it. Beautiful thing. Now, I was quite shocked. I only paid a pound for this. Um, when I get all my started looking, now I'm asking £95 for it, but that's based on this type of thing. Let me share it. Let me just double check. I'm sharing. Yes, I am. There's one here 1960s. Murano vase, yeah, they've put it all down, neoclassical and all the rest of it, £296. Another one by there, £150 on offer. And another one there, £150 on Etsy, I believe. And then you had this one, okay, £65, but it's not as, nowhere near as pretty as what I got. So you can see now why I've put the price on there, I've put on there. Lovely little bit of Italian art glass, Murano by Tosso, and I put 95 on there. But people can always make an offer. i got to make an offer button there, so if somebody makes me an offer, I paid a pound for it. So, you know, if someone came in at 50 or 60 pound thinking they're being cheeky, I could still consider it and go, hmm, it's gone. So moving on, I had this. Now... A dealer beat me to this at the car boot sale. Uh, he put it on his stall. I then purchased it off him. God knows what he paid, but I paid £7 for a sterling silver gilt Masonic jewel. Um, you know, it's Masonic from the set square. And the fact it's got the large U and all the rest of it, number 128. It is fully hallmarked on the reverse. Uh, there you go. There's the hallmark. Well, now, if anybody wants to know how I do such good photographs and crisp photographs, I just released a film on uh, how to take photographs. So check that out in my how to section or it'll be the last film I released. Um, so we have a sterling silver Masonic Jewel 1960 by Ernest Probjoy Limited. Anyway, Masons is a secret organization and... You have many of them. Masons is the top one, and you have even people in royalty are joined in the Masons. It's a secret club, with lots of different things. I remember once I had all the minute books from the Bargoid Lodge, and then they took them back off me. But that's a whole other story. Anyway, seven pounds up for thirty-five pound for solid silver gilt, sterling silver, but uh, still. Now these are my books. I haven't bought them. Uh, as you know, I've got about a thousand books or so in my library, and I'm slowly but surely selling all of them, bar the Chinese. I don't use them no more. I've read them, and I don't use them. There's a couple of really good ones here. This one, for example, a uh, reference book on glass bottles. Uh, up for 145 sounds a lot of money, but people are asking as much as 250 for one. Um, which other one? This was a good one. The Della Robbia pottery. Now, if you uh, if you don't know what Della Robbia pottery is, it is very much like the Italian, um, well, very much like Italian pottery with all the scruffito and all that, because they copy it. Anyway, good books, some really good books. I've got quite a lot of books gone on there already. Now, I've um, got a lovely decanter book. I got a nice glass bottles book. 
check them out. Some really nice books on there. Anyway, moving on, I purchased this, which is a beautiful studio pottery from Cornwall uh, vase by Khan Pottery. It is a fully stamped up example. Now, St. Ives is uh, the one you're looking for. Um, St. Ives, where I'm going. Troika, St. Ives, obviously, in the studio pottery with uh, Bernard Leach and uh, Hans Copeland. Now, but uh, I'm talking about Troika was the word I was trying to get out. Troika is the one you wanted, but I got a nice piece of Khan pottery here. Really nice thing. There you go. Fully stamped on the base there. Khan pottery, Cornwall. It's in lovely condition. Cost me a fiver. I'm asking 30 quid. Really cheap for what it is. And look how good looking it is. This I absolutely adore. And I got to give Nikki a shout out because I promised I would. And this is a two foot long Harley Davidson made of wood and wicker. The wheels and bars and things are wicker. And then you've got all this carved wood forming the um, motorbike. Snowball, come here. Postman just been, the dog's about to go nuts. So, yeah, beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, she charged me a tenner for it. I paid the full asking price. I was going to put it up for 30, 40 quid, and I thought, oh, well, I'm going to have a gamble. Somebody can always off, knock me down and offer me, but it is such a lovely thing. It was too big for my <laughs> photograph tent. Um, but look at the photographs, even though you can see the sides. I got some lovely images. Love it. If you like Harley Davidson's, then a two foot long wooden Harley Davidson. How fabulous is that? I think I'm asking like 65 quid, but I can see I got the make offer button now. So it doesn't matter what I put on something, I can consider the offers as they come in. So it's just fabulous. Okay, so these I'm going to ask you to, well, I'm going to give you a minute or two to have a look at them and see if you can figure out what they are before I tell you what they are. They're fully stamped up, British made down here. Now they open, if you look at this one on the right here, there's a screw there, so they open and they look like that when they all open. This bottom one's been damaged and slightly out of shape. Um, but I have four of these rings. Do you wanna have a little guess what they are before I tell you? Just a bit of fun, just a game. Um, I used to do games actually where I put interesting curiosity antiques up and uh, give you a chance of guessing them. I'll probably do another one of them, in which these will be in there. I think you've had enough time now to guess. These are nose rings of a big Hereford bull. I got four rings. One, they've obviously forced and damaged a bit. Um, so I'm selling them. I'm only selling them a ten or a ring, and I'm giving them the damaged one for free. So a ten or a ring for the three top ones. The fourth one is free. I even say that in my description. But they're good, heavy copper or bronze nose rings for a big Hereford bull. Uh, let me share the photographs with you. How weird is that? I told you I do weird, wonderful, eclectic things. Uh, I'm not sure what that says. Don't think that's the maker's mark, I think. Harriet's wrote or something. British made. There you go. Hyatt's wrote. But look at that. But yeah. Yeah. Weird, wonderful. <laughs> Where else are you going to find nose rings for a bull? I just love weird and wonderful. If it's different, I'm buying it. So that's why I had to tell you, check out the website. You'll have a shock your life how weird and wonderful some of the things are on there. And here's another example. This, it, it looks like a missionary church, you know, like something that settlers would go and then they take the Bible and they'd start preaching to... Um, foreign lands and things and then they'd build the little missionary church well this is made entirely out of cork and i don't mean cork at your pipe i mean a cork tree the bark of a cork tree the the roof is two sections so that is one entire slice of cork on each side then carved into the roof ridges with a center bar the sides they've even done the walls like brickwork there's a bell at the front and this is a big piece the cork has been varnished because cork does deteriorate and shrink and things as it dries out. So it's been varnished to protect it. It's on a wooden base with bark all along the base. And it just reminded me of a missionary church. Now, this one, I thought, when I saw it, the first thing I thought was 
A, it'll make a beautiful nativity display in a big department store or something like that. Or B, that could end up being on TV in, uh, as a prop in something, whether it's like a Christmas episode or something like that. It's huge. It's 20 inches tall, 18 and a half inches long and 11 inches wide. It is massive. I paid a tenner for it, which is really no money because it is massive. Uh, paid a tenner. And I put it up for 100. Now, I have had a look. There are some people with small churches up for 80s and 90s. But I can't find nothing that looks like that. Now, that looks like a missionary church to me anyway. So you're talking maybe Spanish, Portugal, somewhere like that. I think Spain because people could have drove back with it rather than flying back. Um, that's why I said suggested Spain in the description. But I just thought it's weird. It's wonderful. It's different. Now, if you have... Enough room and you like a big nativity display, you're not going to find a better church. I can assure you of that. So what do you think? I got nose rings for a big hairy football. I got a missionary church made out of cork. I've got a Harley Davidson made out of God knows what tree all carved down and cut down. It's just, you know, Italian glass vase, sterling silver Masonic medals. What a good mix. My old website is like that. It's not two things alike. Everything is weird, wonderful, and different. Go check it out, antiquesarena.com, and drop me a message. Say hi. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the channel, please share the videos, comment, like the videos. helps the algorithm. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.